What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now, normally I don't cover OBS and that's been proven. I've covered it once before I think and it was great. But with this, I'm covering OBS this time because it's a major release. This is OBS Studio 28 Beta 1. Not only does this come with HDR video encoding support, but it also comes with 10-bit encoding support. Awesome. This also adds a brand new thing that I've not seen before, um, which is NVIDIA NVENC HEVC, which is H.265 support while streaming, which is should be crisp and very clean. Now, there is no AV1 support for NVIDIA yet, but they do plan on having it coming, which I honestly can't wait for. Now, let's uh, scroll on down. Uh, I'm not going to cover this completely, but to have HDR and 10-bit support, you can only have it with AV1 and HEVC coders, okay? Moving on. They've updated to QT6. Great. They have native Apple Silicon support. Thank you. There's a bunch of new additions. So first off, um, more optimal and up-to-date implementation of the new AMD encoder on Windows. Thank you. Now, AMF has made the steps to become as good as NVENC. It's about 1 to 2 FPS slower, but you're not really going to notice the difference. And it actually does keep up with NVENC in terms of quality if you use the HEVC method, which I suggest you do. HEVC is just lighter and it's way more better. It's got way better quality and so on, from my personal experience. They've added Screen Capture Kit framework on macOS for macOS. Uh, 12.5 plus so that should work on mac os 13 as well including support for direct audio capture without requiring third-party solutions thank you that took forever added support for cbr crf and simple moat apple vt encoder and on apple silicon that should also work on hackintoshes as well um, application audio capture on windows to allow capturing the audio output from a single process nice Support for NVIDIA RTX background removal. Okay, this is where we do our thing. This is where I actually turn this off. And you get to see that, okay? So we're going to hit cancel. And we're there. So there you go. As you can see, background removal is going. And I do not have any NVIDIA broadcast in the bottom. So the way that this works is you need to install an SDK for the noise removal. And you just add it like this. I don't know why I have these. And remove these they don't really do anything but as you can see it does work and it kind of works well but you need to be very well lit and i'm not very well lit at all so yeah there you go and i'm going to disable that because there's no point in that being on now i want to show you the other thing that's new as i said it's not there so you cannot stream with it are you serious standard and hevc that's cool also you can tell there's a brand new theme that's pretty clear. Way to go on that one. So we're going to head back to this and uh, we're going to continue taking a look at this. Now, where were we? So RTX noise suppression filter on, Win uh, on, on Windows. Also, I'm currently using that at the moment. Same thing. You just added it as a filter. OBS WebSocket 5.0 as a first party plugin. A new default theme called Gammy. Thank you for that. WarChamp7. Uh, the ability to automatically spit recordings based on file size or duration. That is awesome. Accessibility section to the settings windows, providing the ability to change colors of certain UI elements with presets on or custom. Uh, native SRT or I don't know what that is, but thank you for that. Uh, support for sending chat messages to YouTube for with OBS. I've been waiting for that for ages. File integrity check option on Windows to validate repair of the current OBS installation. That's also very good. Improved macOS permission flow on startup. The video capture device source on Windows will now save and remember settings changed in the dialog. That's great. Uh, there is a ton of tweaks here. I'm not going to go over all of them. As you can see, it just goes on forever. There's also an amount of uh, fixed performance issues and so on and scaling. This is, as I said, a very massive release, and that is, I guess, super important. I am very impressed with this release. I have not had the pleasure to test it on uh, Linux yet, but there's a ton of problem with Linux that hopefully they'll eventually fix, like performance problems and so on. I hope they add the new HEVC uh, encoder for NVENC on Linux, because that would be 
absolutely mind-blowingly powerful. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video about this new OBS. You guys can check out the rest of these notes in the description below because I will link it. Uh, link it. Another thing I forgot to mention is that they drop support for Windows 7 and 8, Mac OS 10.13, uh, 10.14, Ubuntu 18.04, and all 32-bit operating systems. So, yeah. Good luck with that. Again, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.